I'm going to show you how to add in a new color for the next round. So I already went ahead and cut my old color. I am going to go underneath my last stitch and pull up a loop. Then I will grab my new color, place it over my hook, and pull that underneath. I'm going to make sure that I'm holding on to the tails. Take the new working yarn and I will yarn over and pull through. So I just did a chain one because I need to turn my work. So I'm going to turn my work and I am ready to single crochet going back. So I am going to hold on to both of the tails and do my first single crochet into this first stitch here. I will make sure that both tails are over my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through both. I'm going to pull everything in place and then I will single crochet into the next stitch. Again, I'm making sure that both tails are over my hook. I will yarn over and pull through both. So I will just continue to do single crochets with the tails over my hook until they are all covered up. So this is a good way to do it because you can weave them in as you go and it's nice and secure. If you don't want to do that, you can always weave them in after, but I find this to be much easier. So now at this point, you can just take some scissors and go really close and then just trim off the little excess pieces. And now you are ready to just continue on with your new color. And that is how you change colors. If you wanted to change colors in the middle of your row, you can just go into your next stitch and pull up a loop. And then the same thing, you just take that new piece, pull it through, and then everything might feel loose, but you just pull them down and then go into the next stitch, place both tails over your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. So again, go into the next stitch, make sure both tails are over your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. And that is how you change colors in the middle of your work.